Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Minnesota Duck Hunting Opener 2016. I'm gonna head up north right now. stopped and got groceries. Now I've got about, I don't know, 45 or 50 minutes and I should be at duck camp. This year up in duck camp, uh, Zachary will be coming up. He should be getting up here, I think around noon, one o'clock. He had to work second shift last night plus overtime. So whenever he can get out and get up here. Sarah, she's coming up, but she can't leave till later. So she isn't really gonna get up here until probably around dark, maybe a little after. Uh, my brother Chris will be up here, his wife Teresa will be up here, her brother Johan will be up here, and my dad will be up here. So, pretty much uh, the whole group. 11 miles to go. I just saw my brother Chris's truck parked uh, down a ways on one of the trails, so he must be out there grouse hunting. There's their trailer. Here we are, back to duck camp. Even the wood pile looks exactly how I left it last year. Okay, well that's everything out of the canoes now. I'm gonna drive this down and get these off the trailer. I can park the trailer up the road a little bit. Well, my dad just showed up. He's gonna put his tent up over where I just parked the trailer. And it almost looks like there's rain coming. I was gonna wait to set that tent up until Zach got here, but I might not have a choice. So I think I'll back my truck in here and, and attempt to get this big tent up. It takes up the whole road. Oh my goodness. Wow. Go over and take a look at Chris, Teresa, and Johan's camp.
I think I'm going to put that vestibule on the front of the tent because if it does get rainy, that's really nice to have that on. Well, I got the whole tent all set up now. Dust bowl on here. Now it probably won't rain. Now I can just bring stuff inside. Zach made it up here. We're gonna cook up a couple of hot dogs for lunch. Less rice than last year, it's a lot more open. Yeah, well, then this would probably be the best point. You're going to sit inside of it? Um, I don't know, I have to look at it. Yeah, if the ducks are flying, you know they're going to come right by here, so. take a little drive up here and run down one of the trails see if I see any grouse. Chris he shot one yesterday and he jumped a couple today but really there isn't much flying and there's a lot of leaves on the trees but usually Sarah goes with me when I do this but she's not up here yet and Zachary he doesn't really go grouse hunting too much he likes to duck hunt. I just was driving here and one flew right across the road so I shut off the truck and grabbed my gun and shells and I walked in the woods after it and of course I never seen it. That's where the dog is so nice. I would let Max out of the truck and he would go in there and you wouldn't have to do anything. You could just watch him and when he picked up the scent he would start going crazy and you knew it was time to get ready but oh well. Well I walked in here and then I see that they've cleared this. It used to be kind of a field and it's grown up over all these years and I did jump one grouse way over on that far side but there's so many leaves on the trees I never saw it.
walk over and check out my dad's camp. Oh, that's kind of nice, huh? You got the outside thing and then... I can store everything in here. We have Zachary's if we need it tarp system. We're not sure if it'll work, but it's there. Just coming over to grab another beer. I looked it up. Oh my god. All he makes is what I mean. Don't do it in a chicken coop. <laughs> Just coming back to grab another beer. <laughs> We talked to Sarah about two hours ago and she said that she should be up here in about two hours so she said she's going to be hungry so we're waiting to cook right now. Hopefully she'll be here soon. It's not all that cold out, it's maybe 50 out, but I'm gonna need a little bit of heat to take the dampness out now that it's raining. So tonight we're going to have a bunch of pork chops. They did not have any pork steaks for sale at the store I went to. Sarah's here. How's the drive for you? Any problems. Good. I think he has the stove going in here to kind of take the dampness out. Yeah. He's down on the bridge oh, making a phone call. Okay. So. I like to pee anyway. Alright. Well, I'm glad you made it. Right in time for dinner. We got, we're just kind of finishing up on these. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm really happy. Good. Feeling smoked out. <laughs> it's nice and toasty in here. Okay everyone, well, it's about a quarter after 10. The alarm is set for four. Duck hunting starts in the morning.
Good morning everybody. Today is the duck hunting opener in Minnesota. Zachary, Sarah, it's about 20 after 4. It's time to wake up. Even Sarah's out of bed with only one time to wake up. <laughs> Okay. Is everybody ready to whack some ducks over here? Oh, yeah. We're getting blown across the lake either way. <laughs> so remember now we can shoot at 636 this morning. It's really going to be windy out there so be super careful when you're trying to canoe out. Safety. <laughs> I almost forgot, Sarah. Happy birthday! Oh, yeah, yeah thank you. Birthday, Sarah. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there was some guys across from the point I usually sit on, and there's been people there before, and it's way too dangerous. So I moved up past where Zach and Sarah sit, and I haven't sat on this point for a long time. So this is a better point later in the season, but we'll give it a try here this morning. Okay, everybody, we have made it to our spot. It's pretty dark. It's about 5.30, and some people decided to go out on the point a little bit before us so my dad had to go further down so hopefully he finds a good spot Okay, well it's 10 minutes to shooting time. It's a real dark morning. It's misting out. I think it's a little bit foggy. I haven't seen any ducks fly over here yet, but once people start shooting, maybe they'll start moving around.
There's one right in front of you, Sarah. Well, now I have at least fired a shot. There you go. <laughs> Got the dust out of the barrel. <laughs> right there. You, that's pretty far. Oh, I got that one. Sweet. Is that one coming or did it turn? Because I shot two of them. I know. How'd you do? I got two of them. Nice. <laughs> There we go. That's a beautiful duck. <laughs> we were just coming back around here and, and that thing popped up. Tenderized. Yep. Nice. <laughs> cool. Well, maybe we'll get some more. Yeah. Did you get anything jumping? Yes, I did. You slaughtered it. Oh, that's a nice wood duck there. Yeah. Very nice. All right. I shot it and it like fell and then it bounced off the cattails. Really? <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> oh. I kind of need a boat. Because it's like, you can't. I was surprised how misty it was. I didn't think it was going to be. You know, I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I got to pick up the one. Just like this. Yo. Yo. He said he knew Stephen King's fans could be a little crazy. Get no kids. That's important. Oh, wait, wait. I have a horror part, though. Because it wasn't. I mean, it's not going to be on network television. Well, Sarah and I just went and walked on a few grouse trails and checked out some things on a map looking for new trails. And uh, this morning, what, I think we got a total of 18 ducks between everybody here. So it wasn't a bad morning, not a super good morning, but grouse, I don't, I don't know where they are. <laughs> I jumped a couple yesterday. I haven't seen anything today. So, but it doesn't matter. This is all a fun time. <laughs> you, you couldn't resist it, eh? <laughs> you couldn't. <laughs> The tent here on the seams that has a couple of little leaks and it didn't rain much last night at all but I did get a, one drip on me and Zach got one on him so I got a hold of Melissa because nobody can get the weather up here because the cell phone coverage is so crappy uh, but you can text back and forth somewhat and she looked up the weather and there's a 90% chance of thunderstorms between 7 and 7. 7 tonight and 7 in the morning, so Zach and I are going to take it through a tarp over part of this just to be on the safe side. What good is that? 
I like the lighting. Yeah, it's cool with his hands. Yeah. Really? Did, did they, should they beat him? Yeah. 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 What are we cooking tonight? Hot dogs. Awesome. two years old or something. We're gonna have some nice chuck steaks tonight. More than we can eat for sure. Oh wow. Well, I don't want you to be hungry on your birthday. <laughs> Looks good. Yep. Yep. Oh my gosh, look at it. my entire plate. <laughs> <There's the hole>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they look good. Getting everything cleaned up here, put away. It's supposed to rain tonight. We have one more morning of duck hunting, and then we'll be heading home. I'm walking down to the bridge to give Melissa a call. It's just about bedtime here, but the only place you can get reception is if you're down by the bridge, and even then, it's very bad reception. Well, I had a nice 20 minute conversation with Melissa. And apparently it's about time for bed. I think it's about 9.20 right now. So a little earlier than I usually go to bed, but 4 o'clock comes early. Hey guys, it's about 20 after 4, time to wake up. Good luck out there. Thank you. I'm gonna head out right now. Okay. Alright. Good luck, Zach. Thanks, you too. Alright, <laughs> I'll see you when I'm out there. Well, I made it out to my point here. It is a super warm morning. It rains and then it stops and it rains and it stops, but it's really warm. I got my two decoys out. Just sit here and wait. I, I came out earlier and uh, so I'll get to see um, Sarah and Zachary come by here and just a little bit. And I don't know, Sundays don't really produce too much, but hopefully there'll be a few ducks flying around. There comes Sarah and Zach. That light way over there, that's my brother Chris. Back behind him, I can see, now you guys can't see it right now, but the, 
I don't know if Teresa and Johan are in that or not. All right, we made it out to our blind and it's raining really hard. <laughs> All right, well pretty soon here I'm gonna go pick up. I got two ducks today. I got those three yesterday. Pick up my decoys here. It's just like any Sunday morning. You get about an hour of some shooting and then it just dies down to nothing. So, just about done. Like Sarah and Zach are coming back in too. How'd you guys do? Nothing. You get any shots? I got a couple. Did you? He got a few more than I did. Oh yeah. Yep. So at least they came by you in that new spot. I you guys must have been back in that far corner over there. I could see your flashlight. So oh, yeah. you know. Oh, we can put it right there. Yeah, we'll just put it in the canoe.
directions would have told like the perfect way, but we never used them. Well, we got everything cleaned up here. Now it's time to load up the boats, the trailer. I gotta bring home my dad's canoe also. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video.